Hello, welcome. If you guys are new here, my name is Michelle. Um, this is my channel, Michelle Monstera, and today we're gonna go over and tour my mother's plants. Um, yeah. If you're new here, I make videos about plants and mental health. Um, I do, um, I cover carnivorous plants, um, house plants, as well as gardening. Um, and yeah, let's just get into my mom's plant tour. So here's the overview of what my mom's main plant area looks like. And it's right next to the sliding door that goes out to the backyard. So let's start, let's start here. I brought her a bunch of cuttings and put them in a little cup with um, sphagnum moss and water. Um, and as you can see, I gifted her a cutting of my low variegated elbow, which is actually turning out to be much more variegated than I expected. Um, a lemon lime moranta, uh, Scandaptus pictus, Siba blue, and an Addisonii, Monstera Addisonii, and a leaf growing of the ZZ plant, Raven ZZ plant. Um, so there we go. These are all not rooted. Yeah, the roots will grow soon. Okay, let's start right here. So this is just a pothos. Um, it looks like it's going to be a golden pothos here. This, I believe, she's had for about two or three years. I think this is something that I gave her, I think. Um, and it lives in this pot here, which I think is really cool. It's like ceramic looks like um, next beside that is this um, African violet and you'll see my mom is like the queen of African violets um, and it's in this little dish and I will double check with my mom but I believe she bottom waters majority of her plants especially for the African violet that is really really important because the leaves do not like getting wet she has so many African violets, so it looks really great, and her plant collection looks great in general. Okay, moving on. I don't know what type of flower this has, or what color flower this has, so I don't know. <laughs> um, over here, I believe is a jasmine plant um, that she has indoors. I think these usually go outdoors. Oh, it says indoor house plant. Interesting. Um, on this little leaflet thing here. It says indoor house plant. That's so interesting. I thought it was outside. Anyways, so she has that in here. Um, it was blooming the other week, I think. Um, and you can see a little remnants of the bloom here. <laughs> they look like spiders. Okay, I'm gonna put that down because that doesn't. Ugh. And you can see the container it's in is like terracotta, but it was glazed or painted. And then there's a bucket thing here with rocks. I think she also bottom waters that. Um, over here is her, I believe, bonsai collection for the most part. Um, my mom has always been really into bonsai and wanting to have a bonsai in her house. Um, and so I think these are from Costco, I believe. I don't know any of the varietals because I don't see any tags. I'm not familiar with these type of plants. If you guys know, please drop them in the comments. I love the different textures together, like the flat leaf and like this little spindly leaf and this like tiny leaf one here. Um, and then over here is a begonia cutting, begonia angel wing, I believe. Um, and I gave her a leaf cutting that, um, 
she ended up rooting the mother leaf died but then produced this vine and i think that was about a couple years ago so it looks pretty good for just coming from one leaf cutting i think that's awesome and we'll go over here this is i believe a hoya crimson queen i'm not great at um distinguishing between the queen and the princess and um she's used <laughs> little um the little card things for plants or like you know when they, they put like get well soon um she used the little trident spikes is like what i like to call them for holding up the tendrils which i think is funny and cute the way she waters her Hoyas is always bottom watering. Um, she's had this for a while, I think two or three years. <laughs> Excuse me. And you see a little white leaf here. Um, what else? It just looks really good. Over here is a banana banana plant I think and I believe my dad brought this from work after he retired from work this was plant in the office it's very interesting um, look how thick that stem is um, and also I think they bottom water this as well uh, but this has been here for years and it's doing great no ban bananas produced, I think because it's more indoors, or it lives indoors, so I'm not sure if it actually produces anything. Um, these are one of my mom's African violets here that are in bloom. Look how darling and sweet that purple is. Um, it looks like multiple plants are in here. And also a container at the bottom for bottom watering such a sweet purple flower on the other side here this is a begonia um, and I think this might be a Rex begonia please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong and I love I actually don't really like this begonia but the way my mom has it like really bushy and it's like dropping um, the way she has it planted it's like darling I think um, so I actually took a cutting the last time it was here to try and get um, to grow one because I was inspired by my mom's collection. I think this is a newer leaf. That's what they look like, I think. And this is a snake plant that I think she's had for years and it's just been this. And recently um, it has grown on the side here. A new little shoot. So that's really cool and also really interesting that this produced like a long um what am i trying to say that this plant which is like very cylindrical like the shoots and babies don't look like the mama so who's the daddy i don't know this is also another hoya Crimson Queen, I believe. I'm not sure why they're separated. I think she might have taken a cutting that I gave her. Oh wow, this leaf is huge. Um, and then this is like just a random cactus, but I love the way my mom styled it. Like I love this like weird cloche thing that she put it in. Um, and it makes it seem very special and important and um, gives it like royal vibes, you know? Um, I think, I don't, that's just like a Sansevieria, I think. But yeah, look, this is what it looks like from above. Um, we'll go down here and this, um, this is the plant Y. This is what inspired the plant tour initially. So I had a... Hoya carnosa and um, I had it a while ago and I think two or three years ago 
and my mom saw it and was like, oh my god, that's a Hoya. Um, we used to wear the flowers in that my hair, in the, like in our hair when we were younger, um, because Hoyas grew natively around her where she grew up, um, and she wanted to take a cutting. And I told her, of course, you can take a cutting. So she took a cutting of my plant. My plant died, but hers, she was able to create this guy here and I think it's been a few years it's been three or four and I think that is so inspiring to see the growth um, of a few years just from a tiny cutting and I think she's doing really well with it I don't think any of her Hoyas have flowered for her but that would be really cool to get her Hoyas to flower because that reminds her of her childhood but yeah that is the crimson no Carnosa. <laughs> Spiral. Over here, um, these are a bunch of plants that I do not know what they are, so you guys are going to have to help me out. This is some sort of cactus um, that mm, it looks like it's growing from the side here because the tip looks like it has died off, but then um, it's like Oh, wow. So this guy goes all the way up here, but it's fallen down. So she put a stake here. I don't want to touch it, but like it's like flopping over because it's so tall and um, heavy at the top. That's cool. This is, I have no idea what. It looks like some sort of ivy or vine, um, but I love the like delicate, cute variegation that just looks like it's dipped in a little bit of white. This is another African violet that is actually about to bloom. Oh my gosh, this morning, like 30 minutes ago, it looked like the boom, boom, the blooms were just forming and it looks so different from 30 minutes ago. And it might even bloom like in the next couple of days. Um, oh my gosh, how cute. Um, this is another snake plant that my mom has. Um, oh, and this is, um, I, I gave her this a while back, I think two or three years ago, just from a couple of cuttings, but I didn't like the Enjoy for a while, and so I kind of gave her, I think most of my plant, or if not, just a cutting, and it's grown into this wonderful little specimen here. The leaves are big, there's nothing crispy, so she takes really good care of it, because I always got crispy leaves try to give you a good better look there yeah in the middle here we have a bamboo plant um, that she has in this little vase here there's a lot of new growth and I thought um, that was why it was so light at the top but she says that she usually fertilizes and washes the rocks at the bottom here every now and then so that the algae doesn't build up um, and yeah that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, my mother is also really good at caring for Dracaenas. Dracaenas and I have never mixed. I always underwater and kill it by not watering, but my mom s seems to have a knack for it. I did ask her how often she um, waters her Dracaenas, and she said it was like once a week-ish. Um, but it looks so good. Hers looks so good and so healthy. No crispies. Well, okay. Yes, there is this. But other than that, there's no crispies. I'm just so impressed. This is a ZZ plant that I gave her. And I think it was just these two guys right here. Recently, I was here two weeks ago and this guy was not here. So this is all within the last two weeks that that growth has like spurred up. And I think that's so cool about ZZ plants. Um, they just, they're very, very quiet and dormant until they're not. And you see one like unfurling here that's like coming up. Uh, love, love the ZZ plant. And just how shiny it is, like my goodness. It's like glowing here. 
Um, there's also this, I think it's a Shiflura, I'm not quite sure, um, but I love the variegation. There's like the little white spots um, and it looks like as the plant goes grows higher that there has been more and more white variegation popping up. And I love that it looks like a little tree that lives inside. Love that. Um, my mom also has this Chinese evergreen here and it lives in this super dark room. Let me show you how dark it is. It's like, okay, it's not super dark, but it's, it doesn't get direct sunlight ever. Um, and this is probably the brightest it gets throughout the year. Um, and it's doing great. Um, I took a cutting of it one, a while back and it did not do well with me. So I don't have this guy. Uh, maybe I'll try again, but she's had this for years and it looks great. No crispies. I realized I missed a couple of plants and one of them is this aloe here. Um, I don't have much to say about that except that it's an aloe. And then there's a super cute, um, I don't know what it is. I almost want to say that it's a Shiflura, but look how tiny and bonsai-ish that is. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Oh my God, that is just so cute. <laughs> awesome. This is, this is their little foyer and they have a few plants here. I'm going to mention this Peperomia that is immaculate. I don't know what type of Peperomia it is, but it's huge. I would say it's about at least three feet tall and it's set here. Um, and it's doing really well. If you guys know what type of peperomia this is, please let me know. I would love to try and propagate and bring it home. But knowing me, because I'm in underwater, I don't think that this is going to last very long. But I love the different, so like it's interesting. I don't know if this is different plants because this one looks very different from these guys. And I don't know if it's like the variegation that's um, grow. <laughs> sorry, I don't know if it's the variegation, variegation um, from getting more light or if it's just a different plant. I would love it if you guys told me because it doesn't seem like, so this is, this one's one that has variegation. This one does not. Uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like two separate plants, um, but it looks immaculate. <laughs> um, okay, so there's that. Another African violet um, little cutting, well not cutting, like they're all grouped together, not flowering. Another Af more African violets. I love this setup though, where you can like just bottom water. Love that. I want to be able to like have little glass things for um, all of my different planters so I can bottom water. It seems so fun and easy. Okay, this over here is a bonsai that my mom bought from Costco. And I actually took a little cutting earlier from over here, but it looks great. It looks like it's doing really well by this little door window. Um, I love the look of it. Another African violet. Not blooming though. Okay, the final plant of the uh, plant tour is this Dracaena. Um, that is sitting in the middle of their living room here. Um, and I believe she put a Chinese evergreen, no, just an, uh, some sort of aglonema in here. And this has been here for years. This Dracaena is looking so good. Um, 
Oh, and there looks like there's to be like some sort of palm. Oh, some sort. Yeah, it looks like a palm that's in there too. So we got three plants in one and they're all looking really good. This Dracaena does have a little bit of crispy tips, but it's like very minimal. So good. Okay, that is it for my mom's plants plant tour. And I'm going to sign off today. I do have a propagation tour that I will link you to in the description box. Um, I love doing plant tours of different places because different people have different watering styles and obviously different light. And so it's so interesting to see something thriving somewhere else where in my care they would die. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment about what you're going to do for yourself today um, in terms of personal care that you've been putting off. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.